the metaphysics of being lonely. See, it's never nothing wrong with being lonely. Because you have to understand you're never lonely. And you're always being watched by the unseen. And of course, the unseen is, is things that you cannot see with these two eyes. <clears throat> it's only being justified when you close these eyes and have a clear mind. See, it's highly important to know the difference between being separated and being committed and, of course, attached to a person. Ten times out of ten, we all need our space. And if we don't have this space, then we're going to get unfulfilled in areas because we're going to be spending too much time with individuals that's going to pretty much throw us, throw us off tasks. I mean, when you get thrown off tasks, it's very hard for you to basically focus and concentrate. That's why it's very important to basically be lonely sometimes. Because when you're lonely, this gives you an area to basically detach and clear out baggage. And when baggages get too heavy and books get too heavy, it starts to wear and tear, break down some bones and stretch you out of attack. And when you get stretched out of attack, these things start to put you in a position of being injured and handicapped. And if you always with someone, and repeating the same routines and patterns. <clears throat> it's going to basically break you down some way. And this is a situation where you never want to allow this to basically be reoccurred. So that's why it's very important to separate. And separation is pretty much key. Sometimes you may have to separate from certain individuals in your life. <clears throat> Especially when times change. And of course, events change. Events start to happen. During this time, this is the best time to basically start being alone. Start separating yourself from individuals. <clears throat> because whoever you attach yourself with, you become this person. Just the saying, if you buy a fresh fruit <clears throat> and you keep it in a certain area for too long and don't touch it or pay attention to it, it's going to start to rot. It's going to start to melt. Which means that this information, this fruit, this knowledge, this wisdom right here that you're about to eat, and put it in your body. <clears throat> Remember, opportunities come as given. So if you're not taking up acting on that opportunity to baggage that fruit in you, that fruit is basically going to start to wear and tear, which means it's going to start to transform into a fruit that's going to be basically deprived. And of course, it's going to start to get eradicated. And when this fruit get er eradicated, the fruit flies going to eat that shit up. And remember, <clears throat> the spirits within these bodies are the fruit flies. So if you, whether you, whether or not you eat a fruit fly or if you don't eat flies and shit of that matter, you still have this in your body, which means that this is your body developing waste and, of course, fluids. After a while, these waste and fluids start to um, need attention as well. So attention goes where energy flows. So whatever you're paying attention to is going to grow. So always remember that this fruit, this information expires too. So if you're not coming up with new information and new insights on things, that means you're not eating physically. Feel me? You could be eating mentally and metaphysically and emotionally, but if you're not eating physically, then that means the certain the bloods that you're putting in your bodies to get your waters and currents flowing. These things is not gonna basically start to grow in certain areas, which means you're lacking in certain areas. And if you're lacking fruit, lacking wisdom, knowledge, then you're gonna feel out of tack and out of whack and of course it's going to pretty much start to beat you down in certain areas and of course if you're beaten down in certain areas these areas start to basically become injured areas which we just said and if these areas is injured that means these areas are depleted and of course when you're depleted you're always going to put yourself in a situation of depleting yourself more because you feel that you're not pretty much fulfilled knowing you're fulfilled but of course whatever you pay whatever you allow to basically consume within you then it start to consume outside of you and also, you're either going to eat that fruit or someone else will. <clears throat> the fruit flies are going to eat it. <clears throat> they're going to eat it regardless. Whether it's good or bad, they're going to eat that shit. And when they eat that shit, they're going to drop their parasites. They're going to share and they're going to spread. And remember, teamwork makes the dream work. So either way, these beans must be eaten or they're going to grow to die by themselves. So either way, when you eat them, they live within you now. It can start to basically go into your world. And they start to basically act with you accordingly. Now, don't allow these beings to basically take you over when you basically put them in your body. You're the one that's supposed to really 
driving the train. You the one, you the train di director right now. <clears throat> and all those beings within you is all the um stages and all the um spaces that they got inside the train to basically go on for the ride. So make sure you driving that train properly, because everybody on that train is your kids now. They're looking up to you, and if they're looking up to you, they're gonna add on to your energy. And of course, if your energy is not right, you're out of place and out of tact. And you're going to put yourself in a situation where they all going to be out of tech. And remember, if they all out of tech, you're going to be even fucked up even more because your teamwork is not even helping you. And of course, ain't no I in team. So you're going to have to pick and choose which route you're going and which current you're going to basically be flowing in. Because you don't want to be flowing in the wrong currents. Because if you're flowing in the wrong currents, things is going to keep currently unflowing for you. And if things is not currently flowing for you, and of course, you're going to lose your mojo. And when you lose your mojo, the show going to stop for you. Your stage is going to be destroyed. Everything is going to be eradicated, which means you're not taking responsibilities of making sure that everything is raining and tearing in your area. So, of course, if you allow terrorists to get in your space and fuck you up in certain situations in certain areas, then, of course, you're just a weak spirit. You're not basically putting yourself into a position of defending your mind. Defending your energy, and of course, if you don't defend your energy, <clears throat> you can get out of place and out of tech. That's why it's always good to basically separate yourself and basically be lonely. Sit, 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 sit down somewhere, and of course, figure out why you're feeling like this, figure out why these things is happening. Ask questions because when you ask questions, you receive your answers. And if you have a fucked up mind with too much shit on it, the answers is going to be hard for you to basically be received because you didn't clear out your room, you didn't clear out your dresser. So, of course, whatever you're dressing yourself in. These areas that you're giving attention to, these areas is not going to basically be fully dressed. It's going to be naked. And of course, when it's naked, it's not safe. It's feeling vulnerable in the public. So if it's vulnerable in the public, there's no balance. There's no justice in that. And of course, the information is going to feel weak. It's going to feel lonely and sad. And of course, with the information feeling lonely and sad goes with inside you. This is what you're basically carrying out. So you got to be very, very careful and be aware of what information you're basically paying attention to. Because with whoever paying your attention to, whatever you paying for, you're going to get that shit. You're going to get your change back. You feel me? Remember, whatever you pay for, you're going to get the change back. It's going to be big change or small change. Now, it depends on you, though. Are you willing to basically go through the change? Or are you allowing the change to basically take you over? Because if we're going to change in life regardless, people going to change. Things going to switch up. And, of course, the world is going to keep revolving. <clears throat> Ten times out of ten, the world don't revolve around just one individual. The world revolves all around the world, all around the globe, all around the currents. And of course, if the energy is not being created, then you're not going to basically be revolving in that 360. You're going to be basically, it's going to revolve around you, but in negative areas. And you don't want no negative shit basically coming into your space. Whatever comes in your space has to die, has to get eradicated. That's why you have to be lonely sometimes. That's why you got to... They basically take into consideration who you allow to basically be in your space. Because if these individuals are not on the same tracks with you, then that means they don't wear the same color as you. They have different colors, too many colors, which means they have too many chakras that's basically being eradicated. Which means these two these chakras and these fucking colors that they have on them, <clears throat> they're not balanced. And when things is unbalanced in your area, you're never going to receive new balance. You're going to receive the old balance. And if your sneakers is not basically being broke no more, then that means people are tired of it. <clears throat> They're tired of basically dealing with some old shit. They want some new shit. And if the, even if this shit is new, it's still going to be basically carrying baggage from the old shit, which means that it's no style, no switch up, no current. And of course, if these waters and oceans is not basically being deprived, if it's too much sand in that water, they, the whole world can't drink it. They're not going to be satisfied. Then, of course, you have a situation where you got to basically <clears throat> detach that water. Take out some particles, take out some salt and some ingredients that's in that damn water and that's in that ocean to make sure that people is basically drinking the proper water that they can feel satisfied with. Now, if you not go, if you pretty much go drink that water and you're not satisfied with that shit, some ten times out of ten, ten things can happen to you. Good things and bad things. Now, remember, things can happen good, which can turn out bad, and things can happen bad, which can turn out good. That's why you should never basically go with the negative. Inter interactions or the negative impacts. <clears throat> Those to sit back and question things. When you question things and learn how to use a little bit of alchemy and switch the scenario, things are basically going in your favor. But remember, 
whatever you receive, you don't have to basically go with the flow. Because if you go with the flow, then that means you're, you're basically showing the world and the universe that, okay, I'm, I'm going to just agree with what I have. I'm not going to even basically try to reach certain mountains or climb, climb certain trees or certain um, areas where I can basically figure out what's, what's else behind that stretcher. Because everything is a treasure to you. <clears throat> you got to just know how to use these treasures to find your own map, find your own puzzle, and put the pieces together. The pieces is never going to come together. You got to know how to basically put these things together. The resources is always going to come. The recycle bins is always going to come. You got to know how to basically put that trash or put that gold <clears throat> together in some way. But these things can't be blended, blended, blended in together, which means you got to basically learn how to release some shit, let go of some shit, whether it's a person, place, a thing, and learn how to basically incorporate into areas where you can actually Put yourself into a position where you can have flow, good water flow and good currents. You could basically allow your water flow to basically give you good chills. Now, if you're having bad chills, that means the water flows are fucked up. These things are not basically flowing correctly. <clears throat> it may look like it from a distance, but when you get too close, you start to see the snakes, the rattlesnakes, the mountain lions, the bears, and the tigers all into one area. And if these individuals can't get along, then what's going to happen? It's gonna be war, and when and when there's war, just know everybody is from themselves in that area. If these people are not working together, and of course you always gotta look at it, look at it like this: if you're not working together, you're not gonna be able to be successful or come to agreements to f making things grow. You just out here killing each other and going after each other. Then it's like, damn, how can we even basically work together as a team? And create more areas and create more arenas <clears throat> if everybody after each other. And this is the shit that they got people in the world now. They got people going after each other, hurting each other, fighting each other, killing each other. Why these motherfuckers are sitting back working together, thinking that they are beefing with each other. But 10 times out of 10 behind closed doors, a whole different story. This is how they keep you distracted and keep you into certain areas of having negative shit on your mind. That's why you gotta basically separate in solitude and quietness and peace and get yourself out of these certain programs because these programs can wash you up under the current. And if that current is dirty and is washed up and eradicated, ain't nothing gonna be down there but demons. And of course, when demons is down there with you, these demons is basically gonna play with you. They're gonna test you. They're gonna see where you're at. And of course, if you can remain strong, in crazy times, then of course you're gonna be the one that's gonna be counted on to to have the right shit within you, the right resources within you to carry out everybody out of a situation. Now, if you can't even get your own self out of a situation, how can you get others out of a situation? You gotta always put just put the two to two together. Feel me? Get the two piece nugget and see which nugget you can use, which nugget, which brain you can use. Basically. Get yourself out of these predicaments. Now, everything is predictable, but you need time, solitude, to put these things together. <clears throat> if you're always with somebody and fucking with them, and y'all ain't working together, 10 times out of 10, even if y'all are working together, you're not going to really have too much time to basically work with each other together. Y'all got to make sure y'all right first before y'all even come together. So if you're even not right with yourself, how are you going to basically be right with others in the world? That's why you got to always put yourself first. And know your worth. And know that you're worth more than what the world told you. And if you can believe in that shit. And make sure that belief is being put into every second, every minute, every hour of your day. And of your time. Then that means you're elevated from this low ass world. And you start to see the world differently. If you're not seeing the world differently. And you don't have your own perspective and own introspection. Then you're going to always be in someone else's perspectives or perspectives of the world and you don't want to be in somebody else's perspectives of the world you want to be in the right perspective the right hemisphere the right atmosphere which means your mentality is vibrating way out of this place which means you ain't got no firmament around, around your mind you're not stuck into one mind and creating new ways to elevate your mentalities and put it into a new space a new location a new site a new star a new adventure and of course if you're not even in the adventure land then what land are you creating? You just creating a land where you just aventuring somebody else's land in a low vibrational ass stance. So pick and choose. You gonna accept, accept solitude 
or you're going to be on solitude with somebody else that's not even going to basically bring you your peace. You got to pick and choose. Pick a side.